Uh, today is Saturday, November the 25th, 2023, and this is a test run to see how the uh, video recorder, the camcorder, is performing in just basically natural light with some little bit of overhead light. I haven't fooled with the exposure at all, uh, with the lighting, with the density, or anything like that. It's just a test run. Uh, my name is Reverdy Lewin O'Rell III, born June 2nd, 1949. And what I intend to do is make a collection of videos, some short, some longer, for basically my grandsons, Jackson Reverdy O'Rell and Beckett Highland O'Rell. I, I don't get to see them that much. Things are a little different with the generations and people. Uh, living further apart than they used to. When when I grew up, I saw both sets of my grandparents all the time. Uh, my grandmother and grandfather, we used to call them grandmom and grandpop at the house. They actually lived in Arbutus. We could probably get there in 10, 15 minutes at the, uh, at the latest. And we'd, we'd go over there quite a bit. I'd be over there quite a bit because for a while, my father ran a printed printing business out of my grandmother's uh, uh, cellar. Um, my other grandmother and grandfather, my mother's parents, lived down in Ventnor, Pasadena, Anne Arundel County, Maryland. And it took a little bit longer to get down there, but I, I know we went down to visit at least once a week. Uh, it's, I can remember that all the time. Certainly like on a Friday night, we would go down. And what I want to do is tell you about them, tell you about a lot of the other uh, ancestors. Uh, I've been a genealogist since 1985 and starting actually with your father, counting him, um, me, Mima, our families as far back as I could get them and bringing them forward. I have about 70,000 connected individuals that are directly connected to your uh, father. And, and actually most of them are on, on my side. Uh, just to let you know, you are a direct descendant of many uh, rural uh, lines, especially uh, uh, from England. Uh, if I remember right, you are related to six or 7,000 uh, kings, queens, dukes, duchess, um, Earls, uh, all the all the different all the different ones, princes, prince, princesses. You're related to so many of the royal family, and that's because you only need one connection. Once I was able to get the one family line overseas, and that line was the Cheney line. Once I got that overseas and worked and worked and worked, I was able to connect the Cheney line into a, another line uh, which proved to go into uh, King Edward III. King Edward III is probably your 24th great-great-grandfather. Uh, and from there, because of uh, record keeping and genealogy and, and family ties were so important back, uh, in, back then, their complete genealogy, their complete family trees was already written and connected. So I struggled, struggled, struggled to get to from, from this point here to this point. But once I hit that point and made that connection, I all of a sudden went way up and then back down with all the different cousins and everything. You, you two are... Uh, related to probably at least 43 to 44 of the U.S. presidents were not direct line. No, none of our, none of the presidents or the founding fathers or the signers of the Declaration of Independence or anything like that. None of those are a direct meaning father, 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 mother, 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 great, 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 nothing like that. But they would be uncles and aunts and cousins. And your family line is extremely, extremely interesting, both on my side and also on Meemaw's side. So 
I've done a lot of work. I started genealogy in 1985. Uh, haven't done it completely all the time, all the years, but I've done enough. If you can see behind me, uh, let's see, over here, those bottom two shelves are genealogy books that I have either written or co-authored with someone else or served as editor of. Uh, I put a lot of time into that. And in back of me here, let me slide out of the way, all those books are when, uh, let's see, the bottom row almost completely across is presidential genealogy, how they, how they all interconnect. And on the far end of the bottom row uh, is one's con genealogy connected to uh, the Mayflower, the Pilgrims. Again, we do not have any direct line Pilgrim ancestors, but there's several lines that are cousins. So we connect to a lot of different people uh, through them. Um, now, above, let me get my head down, that second row there, that's all basically related to uh, rural genealogy. Most of it British. Um, you are a direct descendant of many of the kings and queens. You are a direct descendant of signers of the Magna Carta. You remember that was done years and years ago. So I have traced that back. You are a direct descendant of Knights Templar. So there's, you have quite a bit of uh, uh, rural ancestry in your blood. Now, I mean, actually, do you have any of that left? No, it's probably pretty much diminished out of our system. So we really can't say we are of rural blood, but we can say we are of rural ancestry. That does not make us any different than anyone else, because let's go back to the Bible. You had uh, Adam and Eve. And then after that, after the flood, you had Noah, his wife, his sons, and his daughter-in-laws. Every one of us, every one of us on the face of this earth is a direct descendant of Noah and his wife. We can also say because of that, we are a direct descendant of Adam and Eve. Uh, proving that direct line is a little difficult, and while I've gone way back with the genealogy, I basically stopped researching past uh, the time of Christ. Uh, I, I, I got direct ancestry going back uh, to uh, the Roman period, to Julius Caesar, who was a great grandfather. But beyond that, you basically only have one form of, of proof, that being the Bible. Now, we take the Bible as the inherent, the, the true word of God, but that's the only really direct um, genealogy that we can draw from, that we can prove at that time. From Roman times, from the uh, British monarchy, that is all documented over and over and over again. So we know that to be uh, pretty accurate. So that's why I go back to like Julius Caesar and, and things like that. And if I had my genealogy uh, information up on the, my computer screen, which I intend to do in time, you would be able to see the direct link between you and uh, all kind of people like that. You've, you're, you're related to a lot of people, but don't take that to mean you're any different or you're any better than anybody else, because we're not. We're all the same, we're all God's children, and we're, we're all members of the family of Christ. So let us remain that, remember that, and again, a lot more videos are to come. Uh, I'm going to be asking myself all kind of questions and answering everything truthfully. I want you to have an understanding of, of me, of my generation also. you got to remember, I'm 74 years old. I'm a lot older than you guys. Things were a lot different, and I only wish we had things like camcorders. And, and phones that took instant photographs and, and recordings. 